what do you mean when impacts matter? Like, what do you mean, like, what do I take away impacts from the app? Like, I don't understand the question. How do we determine what the U.S. thinks? What the U.S. policies indicate, or what they explicitly say, or the way we carry out policy, or the way we execute okay. policy. Sure. Yeah, sure. So what offense do you have to the AC standard, Jared? Uh, the turn on the deterrence argument, the uh, analysis. Wait, the turn on the deterrence the, argument? The, the, that's the not deterrence card I read. That okay, so that's that defense. You, Wait, that's <coughs> not that, My argument is saying that because there is, if we're trying to maximize the protection of rights, and my world without the death penalty has more rights to protection than you, okay. sure. I maximize that's the term. You know, I get like the opposite. Okay. So does the NC say what is the status quo? Is what's consistent with what the U.S. wants, or what the U.S. wants is what the U.S. wants? But the argument in the NC says that the way the U.S. executes its policies now is the way it ought to be as a moral guideline. My argument is that he should have to ask a question before running a theory show. I'm not saying that he has to run every, uh, ask every single question. I'm not trying to be shifty, but if you think that I'm doing a violation, you would like me to defend something else, you should ask me if I will defend that implementation rather than taking the easy way out and uh, running a theory show. But second, I need this argument. He can just counterplay out that even if he says that Bayham or something of that extent is a violation because Bayham says juveniles are already in the adult system. I might say that there are substantive reasons why we shouldn't take them out of the adult system and put them in the juvenile system. For example, double jeopardy. But whether or not double jeopardy has a warrant or not, 
that is irrelevant to this question. My reason is I'm not structurally denying him the ability to take them out of the adult system and put them in the juvenile system. He can still be the character, I'm not denying him any of the grant. I'm still saying that it could be a comparison between the adult criminal justice system and the juvenile system. He should just have to make that counterpoint. I'm not denying him that structurally. But additionally, I need this out. Every, every argument coming out of the affirmative case is a default interpretation. If he had asked me to defend any of these, I would have said yes before that. I meet this argument again because I am defending the whole of the resolution. All he needs to do is read one card that says that this is why they'll be in the without the system with the whole of the resolution means this is going to control the internal link to all the theory arguments because if he's talking about predictability and textuality are true, then it's only true because that is what the resolution says. But if I went to the whole of the resolution says a different thing, then he is not actually getting access to particular topic of your argument. So additionally, even though I mean this interpretation, the implicit counter uh, counter interpretation would be that I uh, I can know that <coughs> I can accept the cross-examination that, that, that I do not have to clarify a cross-examination unless he asks me this question that I prompt him to ask about whether or not I'm going to be treating them as adults in the adult system or juveniles in the juvenile system. Basically, I can do what I do in the affirmative where I allow him to ask the question to clarify. This is going to solve all this offense because there's no abuse. I would have told him, yes, I'm happy to defend that as I've done countless times because I try to be as fair as possible. It also has a net benefit of avoiding the harms of the affirmative scheme, which is going to be a reason why he is practically up there. You can extend the arguments out of the affirmative case or just cross by them. Why? Maybe he's at a time disadvantage. That means that he's going to always be harming after I'm politically because I'm always going to be at, he can always read topicality or theory because I have to choose an advocacy coming into AC and he can just read theory or topicality no matter what because this is a fair interpretation. Additionally, he could have linked that in and would solve back all this offense. That means anything proactively unfair, but even if you think that uh, even if you think that I'm only weighing an I meter that I'm not that unfair, next, RBI. A interpretation to bears me in a run theory shown this is an offensive counter interpretation and I need then proceed to win the run B. If I'm winning offensive on my counter interpretation or an I need that he should lose if I win this interpretation C. He says once run, I'm in a double plot either. I work him into I'm in theory because there's no risk issue at least because he collapses the case and wins the trade off there. Or if the rush of theory to win the case as well, which is he collapses the theory with no chance of my winning. Even if he takes time for one theory, he makes this decision and I have to invest comparatively more because it's game over for me before me comes here. All these other arguments because regardless of what recourse I have or what good or bad norms of marching are, guys, and no, are guys there relevant if I don't have the time to make arguments on the same level additionally prioritize. To verify abuse against me uh, over arguments about future over us. Are you guys only this one is here verifiable and bad? You sure are you guys can be solved that by smart debating against them when they shouldn't apply if I'm not doing the things they indicted by our guys way by abuse first. Also, I don't even have to win the RBI if I win that he's being proactively unfair. But now let's talk about the negative case. The big problem with the negative case is that he assumes that what the U.S. does in the status quo is consistent with U.S. moral realism. But you can cross apply the DIN analysis out of the affirmative case that says specifically the U.S., the hegemon, wants to have the death penalty for juveniles. The only reason they don't have the death penalty for juveniles is because of the international consensus. This means that moral realism is true, then we need to look at what the hegemon actually wants to do because that is where we derive the will of the powerful and that moral morality is the tool of the powerful and the powerful want to have the death penalty. This is also going to come before his analysis because it's directly from the Supreme Court, which indicates directly what the U.S. wants to do. It's not analysis made by Jared Adler about what the U.S. may or may not want to do about this as well. It was from the Chief Justice of the Supreme Court who is more qualified to speak on behalf of the United States. Uh, additionally, this is just a descriptive ethic. It, actually, that's fine. You can scratch that. But even if he tries to go for UTIL, you can go to ACLs with that as well. You can say the Yaya 4 evidence, his burden hour evidence is a correlation, not causality, of course. So he said the death penalty are going to have higher rates of murder. That's why they implemented the death penalty in the first place. But only by Yaya 4 evidence is causal because it controls for the time differences and looks in the specific jurisdictions. His turn on democracy advantage about causing death penalty in other states is false. The resolution is only about the U.S. Additionally, there is no reason why it's bad to have death penalty in other states if death penalty is good. These could also be reasons why the U.S. is fulfilling its duty to its citizens. That's what you think right before we start. Yeah. Alright. Why don't you, what else, how else can you win on theory other than the RBI? If I win that you're doing something unfair. Where was that? <coughs> uh, I guess every argument that isn't, excuse me, that's embarrassing, that's in video. I guess every <laughs> argument that isn't an I meet, but some of the I meets have offensive comparison within. So anything about what, what you're doing, where you just resort to theory and topicality unnecessarily, I don't why that's bad. All right, or why I solve better. We're going to start on the RBI, and uh, then we're going to go to my shell. Like, RBI, and it'll be like a grouping of the stuff he said on theory in the last speech. And then we're going to go to uh, the I meets, and I'll, I'll sign both of them. And then back to the all right? Allen makes a crucial mistake in the last case by thinking that my implication of my theory shell was drop the debater. I never made a drop the debater argument, which means that his go to his counter interpretation on the RBI, which specifically tells you this is the reason as to why uh, the debaters may not run a theory shell and lose it at all. I lose the round on that, on that, but uh, if they lose theory, my argument is not talking about dropping the debater, it is talking about dropping the argument. At that point, the RBI goes away because there's no reason as to why. If he, if he proves that he's not being abused, it doesn't mean he loses the round. If he's being abused, it doesn't mean he loses the round. Rather, he just loses the argument. At that point, the RBI goes away. So the only way that he can actually act his offense off of the theory is the things he's saying on the I meets and the analysis against my shell go there now. You, know, you can go to this 
first time we were translating that I reserve the right to clarify, but first I'd say just simply saying I have reserved the right to clarify is not a sufficient reason to indicate to the opposing debater that that means that they reserve the right to clarify all questions in the CX about topicality and duty violations. That needs to be more explicit. No, I, I, I honestly did not realize that that's what he meant by that. But second, I would say even if, it, that I, uh, even if I did know that what that means or even if that it does, it does actually mean or even if that is sufficient. That